हेलो राइट शाल वी स्टार्ट या या ये मैं बस ओके सो जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकेंड We are live, right? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, hi, hi, everyone. A very pleasure uh, morning, or you can say Saturday morning, to all of you. Uh, I can't see every one of you uh, as an attendees. Uh, so I like uh, uh, let's do this session a very more interactive kind of thing. Uh, you know, uh, chit chat and uh, whatever the questions you have, whether it's anything related to you know startup, uh, tech education, anything, uh, I would be happy to answer to all of you. Uh, so I uh, before start, I would like to know about my audience first. So in the chat section, if everyone can just uh, you know uh, tell their ear or maybe you know uh, if if you are just from my AI SMS, I like I expect. But if uh, you are not, you just mentioned your college name as well. Uh, so I'd like to know about which in which year you are from. Would be happy. I'm not able to see the responses yet. Uh, can host someone just uh, help in that? Like, is it visible to me? Okay, great, great. Yeah. Is it visible? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's now it's visible. Okay. Uh, Prasad, Ankit, and uh... okay. Great. So let's we we will go ahead and uh, uh, you know get to know about uh, what exactly the you know the the session has planned for, right? So let me know in the comment section where are you from basically uh, in which year? Uh, hi, Ramesh. Hey, it's I believe telecommunication engineering. Cool. So uh, again, yeah, very a very good morning. Uh, so this is Sohail here, guys. Uh, my name is Sohail, and I'm a, a seed investor and the mentor for the couple of startups. I've been helping the startups from uh, more than a year as a uh, uh, you can say as a mentor and as well as uh, helping them into the zero to one journey. Uh, so this has been my, uh, you can say, uh, side hustle, I believe. Uh, and uh, other than that, right now I'm a head of developer relations at the Moficent. So Moficent is basically a, a product for uh, for the developers to help them uh, eliminate the hardware need. So if you are an Android developer, we just uh, post the Android development uh, ID on the cloud. So you don't need to taking care of high configuration machines. Also, I'm a founder of uh, Patan Ventures. So Patan Ventures is uh, the firm which is helping the people, as I already said, in the zero to one journey and uh, uh, giving them, uh, you know, uh, the resources, you can say the knowledge required to, to become a successful entrepreneur and become a successful startup. So, yeah, uh, again, a very pleasure Saturday morning to all of you since like a very warm welcome here to, you know, you guys are there and, uh, you know, attending this session. I believe everyone uh, took out some time from the weekend and uh, here today. Right. So that's all about me. Uh, let's start with the uh, session. So, uh, yeah, let's say uh, who is entrepreneur. So how many of you think you are an entrepreneur? So can you just look and say, you know, maybe heads up me on the chat section, anything like, uh, uh, you are in you call yourself entrepreneur because calling an entrepreneur yourself has a required a little bit of efforts. So, yeah, let's see. How many of entrepreneurs sitting in the table? Yes, okay. 
Great. Let's see a couple of more responses. All right. Great. So, uh, before moving into its uh, investment part, before that, I think there is some concepts that you all need to be uh, cleared. Uh, you know, you should know exactly what is this terms known as. And after that, we will slowly move forward, like in the, the funding part, because in startup world, funding is the, you can say, a, a long term goal for, for the people, right? So who is an entrepreneur basically, you know, to start from the very scratch, who is the entrepreneur according to you? So for me, uh, the definition of an entrepreneur is in a person, you can say an individual who, who takes an idea or product, basically uh, have an idea or thought about, or maybe understood the idea and built a product upon that and creates a business value out of it. So that's, that's only an entrepreneurship. Okay. Uh, it's not like a rocket science kind of thing. The person who understood the idea and built the product out of it for the, for the people, right? Uh, th that's self an entrepreneur. Okay. Other than that, I don't think any more definition would be helpful to understand in the very simplest way. This is something, okay. You call yourself an entrepreneur after that. What is startup? Okay. So, uh, why a company is a startup and why startup is a company. Okay. You need to understand the difference first. Uh, so what is startup basically? Okay. So the startup term refers to as the company, which is actually in the very first stage of their operations. So let's say they just started out with, you know, uh, built a prototype, maybe something, you know, uh, testing it out in the very first stage, like they don't have knowledge of business. They don't have knowledge of, uh, you know, how to, uh, go towards sales and everything. They just have an idea. They don't know about it. They just want to build a, build a solution. Right. Okay. So, and they form the company so that, you know, it should be legalized and everything. Uh, so startup is just referred as a company with the first stage of operation and the, the term startup, basically though, the term startup, which is actually very used for basically the, the organization or you can say the company, which is selling the solution. Okay. So let's say, uh, you know, you are a founder of the startup and you understood the community problem. So what's community problem? Basically what you understood that, okay, this is something missing in the daily life. Uh, let's solve that. Okay. So anything like on demand delivery, uh, anything that we use on the daily basis, or, you know, shopping app, uh, you can say grocery apps, uh, you know, Zomato food delivery app, this kind of thing. They all are the startup because they are solving the community problem, which is identified by its founders. All right. So, uh, for the startup, there is one ent uh, entrepreneur starts the startups, right? Uh, so there is also one difference. Okay. People, I often they catch the question, sir, does the shopkeeper also a entrepreneur? Yes, definitely. Because he started out with something very less and right now he established something. So yeah, a shopkeeper can be also, uh, you, you can say an entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, then that comes, okay, you, you got to know what exactly the entrepreneur is. Now you want to know about what the startup is. Now, what about startup funding? Okay, so where, where you know, the funding part comes uh, in the place. So funding basically uh, just refers to, uh, you can say a money, you can say. When we use the terms like capital and investment, it refers to the money side of thing. Okay. So money required to start and run a business basically for anything, you know, when you step out of the home, whenever you go for shopping or anything, you need money in your pocket to buy something. Right. Same. Like, likewise, uh, the startup, like for the starting a startup, you need money to, you know, invest in the resources and, uh, in the logistics as well, right. To start and run the business, it is a financial investment in a company. Basically it's an investment into your company uh for whatever the product development for like whatever the requirement as i already said for the product development manufacturing expansion sales and marketing office spaces and inventory all right so this is all the things which requires to establish a company i believe and to get that on the plate you need money okay and that refers to the funding that's called as a startup funding okay and uh who provides the funding part all right so basically, yeah, we have a idea, we have company, we know we need the funding, but where, sh whom should I reach to? Like, where should I go? Uh, who provides the funding? That's anyone on the road can, can invest in my startup. It doesn't work like this, right? So we need to go on a very stepwise procedures, very steps that I'll going to introduce you in the later part, but, uh, let's see who provides the funding. 
so there are five categories right now in india if we just like since we are from the india we'll take uh, you know the indian demographic so there are the very first two which is very important as in first is an angel investor okay uh then we comes with the venture capitalist okay we often call them vcs basically uh the third firm will be the financial firm so financial firms include banks you can say uh you know uh that yeah the bank and the kind of world bank thing you know they they provide finance, they even provide uh, you can say funding to the banks as well right uh the new lickard like the slice raise pay this kind of firms as well the financial firms they also provide the funding uh for the for the startup in their industries right entrepreneurs so i believe everyone have went through the shark tank india right so all over the sharks were the entrepreneurs they started out their startup you know and like right now on the very high scale they are working so even the entrepreneurs become the investors as well all right so the fourth category will be the entrepreneurs and the fifth category will be the government bodies all right so ministry of finance ministry of startups they are the government body which helps you to get uh funding maybe from the government side so in india right now there are five categories on which your startup funding relies uh we'll see each and everything on the on 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 the like the first as i mentioned i'm so sorry for the background noise so the angel investment and the venture capitalist for are the both important thing which is we are going to go in the depth okay uh, which is actually a very immediate source for the funding for the startups right so who is the angel investor okay let's go into the term we have understood like humne bahut sari cheeze suni hai ki angel investors hote hai venture capitalist hote hai you know so let's see who is exactly an angel investor uh an angel investor could be anyone okay could be anyone anyone uh, is an individual who provides a financial backing for small startups okay so let's say uh, you know you are the startup uh, you introduce your idea to one of your immediate family member let's say your brother okay who owns well right and you are telling him that you know i want a funding from you so whether you will be able to give me the funding or not and he he basically you know uh, financially like not not as become because of the family relation but he approves to give you the funding so he becomes your angel investor in the very first time okay so angel investor can be anyone you know can be a friend can be a family member can be a, a you know actually an investor maybe you know so they all called as an angel investor which are helping you with a little or you can say little or no amount uh, financial backing for the small startups and entrepreneurs typically in exchange of a equity okay so now there are two terms equity and debt which we'll gonna understand in the later part but equity is basically you know an ownership of your company which relies on the founders itself okay so taking an example we have a startup called as x which have a founders uh, uh, you know y and z okay so y is a ceo and x z is a vp of finance vp of business okay both own the equity of 50 50% right the ownership of the company so someone if just uh, you know investing in the startup for the sake of uh, you can say stake or you can say for the sake of security he owns the equity of your company basically a little ownership that you can give to him in return of the money so that's basically an angel investor do so let's say if your brother is investing the money he might be a 5 or 10% or whatever the amount will be decided by an agreement made between the founders will become uh, you know uh, we can say an exchange between the angel investor and as well as the entrepreneur right so this is basically an angel investment uh, so as like anyone can be the angel investor for you as a startup uh, you can as a startup founder uh, uh, that makes sense then we have who is venture capitalist okay so we'll go to uh, go get to know uh, in the very deep space what exactly venture capitalist is okay so uh, so venture capital before venture capitalist okay before someone become the venture capitalist let's understand what exactly the venture capital is okay so now the venture venture like you know we, we uh, before venture we have used multiple time the thing adventures okay so that relates i'm trying to relate it part the adventure is basically an activity which is exciting okay which is which involves race which involves uh, you can say uh, output which involves something which you know which gives you the dopamine in your mind okay so 
uh, an understanding on involved risk or dare to do say something. So that's called a venture. Okay. Uh, venture could be anything. Okay. Let's say your idea is your venture. Okay. Which is an activity to do something out of it. And then we have capital. Okay. So what capital is capital is just funds. Whenever you use the term capital, it's either in the form of equity, either in the form of cash. So capital is just funds and the capital is basically an amount invested by the person to carry out the newly established business. Okay. So a person who is helping you to give, you know, to, to provide the financial backing for your venture for your startup is basically known as venture capitalist. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. So very simplified term here. A venture capitalist is a private equity individual group of investors that provide a capital to your companies with high growth potential in exchange of an equity stake. Angel investor do takes an equity and venture capitalists do takes an equity. But but there is a major difference between angel investor and the venture capitalist that we will gonna see the next. Okay. Uh, I believe everyone got this point. So if just someone hits me up till till here, will be great to uh, you know get my acknowledgement. Yes, sir. Great. Okay. Uh, so let's go with the what exactly the venture capitalist is. Okay. So there are the features of the venture capitalist. You know, uh, basically, you know, uh, so let's say if you know you just have idea, you don't know whether it will gonna work or not. Okay. You don't have knowledge of the market. You don't have knowledge of a tech and anything, but you just have an idea, and someone is investing that that it was high risk. Okay, high risk of getting the funds will be, you know, because you don't know what the future perspective will be, what the future personas will be, right? So this involves a high risk. Uh, but venture capitalists take high risk. Okay, they are known for taking the risk. Okay, also venture capitalists participate in the management. So let's say you know there are two types of investor. One who will just give you the money and tell, okay. I, I invested the money after some time they decided in the lock in period. I want my money back with the specific interest. Okay. But there are other investors which called as a venture capitalist, which actually participate in your day to day day to day activities, maybe your meetings, maybe, you know, work schedule, maybe your docs, everything, which, you know, which involves the operation side of your startup. So they do participate in the management, which help you understand the mistake and solve it on a very knowledge basis or an experience basis. Okay. Uh, Venture capitalists are will gonna help you at the very early stage. Okay, so let's say if you are in, at the seed stage, your prototype is just built. You need to, uh, uh, you know, you need to enter into the market. So to get into the GTM, we call this go to market strategy. Uh, venture capitalists help you in that way. All right. Uh, venture capitalists provide to the smaller and less mature firm, as I already said, since you don't have knowledge to get into the market. You, all right. Uh, venture capitalist comes into the picture. Okay, so they understand. Okay, you are uh, on the very small scale and the less mature firm. They will help you with the resources as well, right? Uh, the venture capital is also financed to the new and rapidly go company. So let's say the startup of Zomato. Okay, when start uh, when Zomato was reeling its is IPO, they needed funding to you know get this get this listed on 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 the we can say on the exchanges as well, right? So uh, the companies who are actually working highly, they 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 will be more happy to invest in this startup because uh, they are already have a stats and figures of the you know amount or money they made from from basically uh, you know the past experiences and uh, what the future personas will be they share with the investors. So yeah, uh, angel invest uh, you can say venture capitalists like this thing a lot. Okay, uh, then lack of liquidity. Okay. Uh, so I'll tell what exactly the lack of liquidity initially when the venture capitalist comes uh, comes into your startup from the point of investment, uh, the return return on the investment, uh, you know, doesn't come in the very smaller time. It's like it's sometimes six years, seven years, eight years after that you get the return. Okay. Because that and that time you can't commit how your company gonna perform. You don't know about the future persona. So whenever you comes with the seed funding kind of thing, you know, your lock in period is like for the for the larger for the larger tenure it's eight to nine years sometimes okay yeah again the long term horizon okay this is a long time game so uh, you know in the very early stage venture capitalists come to help you in that particular domain right uh, yeah so okay we got to know about startup entrepreneurship venture capitalist angel investor but before moving towards the venture capital we need to know why do you need the venture capital okay so there might be a chances let's say an entrepreneur who have a lot of money from their family okay who have a lot of money like he have been a software engineer program manager anything could be and he have a lot of money but 
but basically he don't have knowledge to run a startup how to run a startup because he was in an organization which didn't give him an experience of how to work on the business side right so you need a venture capital basically to bridge between capital and knowledge okay so let's say you have money but venture capital have knowledge to how to run a business so then venture capital comes uh, into the place to help you with the basically uh, you know understanding uh, how how are you going to help uh, you know how you going to get the help okay now also let's say uh, you know uh, uh, let's say the example of person amit okay so amit uh, has a startup called as uh, you know uh, basically uh, any startup okay so amit has a zomato okay and uh, and he got he is about to get the funding okay uh, but amit don't know how to reach out to the nearest uh, restaurant okay so let's say amit started this restaurant in pune uh, amit started his startup in pune and he need to connect with the nearby uh, you can say restaurant to run the zomato app okay so amit don't have knowledge about it but what exactly you know uh, uh, you know it, uh, what exactly he need to know is to understand the nearest the very nearest restaurant which gonna help him to get the fastest delivery and as well as he don't need to put the more man manpower into that okay so understanding this that you know you have to invest in the nearby restaurants and as well as get the maximum out of it that means utilization okay so get this kind of knowledge and idea or you can say hacks do you need the venture capital okay basically a person who has a lot knowledgeable in the industry and gonna help you in each and every way okay so there is a need of venture capital okay if you even have a money you need someone as a mentor who can help you in get 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 on the train okay so uh, let's understood what kind of funding are there okay so we understood everything okay let's get to know what kind of funding we need as a startup right now so let's say you just started your idea and you need the funding to test out your prototype so that's called a seed funding okay so seed is basically you know you put it in the soil you know in the very stage and you wait for some time so that a little a tree gets grown okay that that term is used in the startup as well the seeding capital basically a little or more amount which actually help you to get the prototype tested okay now come the startup capital so startup capital is maybe a pre seed funding okay so let's say you need a little bit amount to uh, you can say establish a company let's say register a company maybe 10 to 15000 rupees you need the company to register so we'll go for the someone okay i need this money to establish my company in the india maybe in the us maybe in america anywhere that the, the amount varies okay between 10000 to 10 lakh rupees okay so that startup capital comes into the picture then early stage capital okay so uh, let's say you have tested out your product right now and you got the customer okay so uh, you know the startup amit amit has a zomato now amit have built his app and now he is getting the customer to uh, to provide the money to the delivery person to provide the money to the you know uh, app cloud services and everything basically to for the development of app let's say uh, you know he need to build an app as well so for that you need an early stage capital okay to get the funding and then come expansions okay you are you, you have tested out your product you got the perf market fit basically you know P, P, we call this product market P, pmf basically and now uh, you need um, a very good funding to you know expand the business okay basically uh, let's not limit it to be pune let's try to target mumbai let's try to target kolhapur let's try to target nagpur all right so for uh, an expansion you need funding so then comes series a series b series c okay so uh, this basically you know you must have heard like this startup got series a funding this startup got series b funding so this basically comes under the expansion capital kind of thing okay and then late stage capital basically uh, you know uh, after a certain amount of time you need amount to launch your another product all right so that's called as late stage capital as well okay we'll see what's the tenure of this funding you know what are the use cases of this funding in the further 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 slides so i believe everyone got got to know about what are the five types of funding that indian startup ecosystem works upon uh, let's move forward so risk in each stage okay so as a venture capitalist i have this table which help me to get understand what kind of funding i need and how it going to work upon so uh, in the seeding capital the lock in periods as i already said when you come to the seed capital you have a very long lock in period basically uh, uh, you know uh, 7 to 10 okay 7 to 10 years of risk is very extreme and basically for 
support in terms of idea r and d and product development okay so seed capital is used for the building a prototype or something right then comes startup capital okay uh, the startup capital has a tenure of 5 to 9 years basically you know a venture capitalist will give you the money uh, for the lock in period of 5 to 9 years basically the lock in period is you know the certain amount of time will given you to return the investment so let's say i am a person who have invested 10 lakh rupees i'll give you uh, and, and you as a founder give me a lock in period of 5 years so after 5 years we will decide that i need 20% on the invested amount okay so uh, basically for the 10 lakh that i have invested for that i need uh, 14 lakh rupees in, after the 5 years so this is something works in such a way startup capital okay very high and in that startup capital is used for initializing operations and developing prototypes okay for market testing and everything right and then comes early stage early stage capital okay which has a little or a uh, little or more a uh, lock in period which is 3 to 7 years uh, the risk perception is little bit of high okay in which so every stage have a risk every stage if you are a startup founder risk is your day to day routine okay uh, that uh, the, the the early stage capital will be help for you know start commercial products and marketing so let's say you built out the product and you need you need the efforts in marketing through people at least get to know about your product right so that comes under the early stage capital part okay uh, the expansion capital okay so very very minimal lock in period which is 3 to 5 because you already have made the money and now you need for the expansion so let's say i'm giving you the time okay 3 to 5 years so i'm giving you 100 you know, 1 crore rupees and to expand this operation into the mumbai okay so uh, in which year sufficiently high because you don't know whether your market will be fit in mumbai or not whether they, these people will gonna accept your product or not. Is there any high chances of getting a competition over there or not? So in this in this scenario as well, you get the high risk perception. Okay, expand the market and growing working capital need. So this is basically an expansion capital fund that you need. Okay, as an as a as a uh, as a uh, startup uh, person, and then uh, uh, you can say you work upon it. And the late stage capital is basically, you know, uh, you have tested out everything. You are right now on the profit stage. Okay, you need to work on the international stage. Okay, you have best product market fit in India. Okay, now you took a target UAE. You need to Middle East. You know, Japan, Tokyo. These have the product where you want to sell it. For that, you need late stage capital to invest, or you can say to get more acquisition part. Right. So this is all, uh, you know, all the things which uh, as a, you know, startup investment, you get uh, these are the types of funding and risk in the East stage and everything. What's the lock-in period for this? Okay. Uh, there comes the funding part. Okay. How do you get the funding? Okay. I got everything. Now I need to, as a startup founder, I'm investing, like my next step would be to get the funding from the investor. Okay. But uh, that does include multiple steps. Okay. So the steps are basically, first of all, you need to come up with a very straightforward, very productive, or you can say very, uh, you know, uh, which includes every detail and stat of business plan submission. Okay. Uh, so as an investor, I will look upon your proposal. Okay. What profit I'm getting from investment. Okay. So first of all, you need a business plan and submission. Okay. You send your portfolio, you send your all the documentations to me and I'll review it once. Second if that makes sense okay so basically this is like the placement that you do you know you first have your uh, evaluation round on the coding test then interviews and then after that they check your development skill and after that you get the offer letter okay so this is some light works in the startup way as well so step one is the business plan submission that i already told you second once that makes sense your business plan submission is looks good to me i'll go with the introductory call as an investor okay so we'll take, we'll meet with the founders, we'll meet with the team, we'll meet with the, all the stakeholders. Let's say CEO, CTO, CMO, uh, you can say uh, operations head, all the teams. Okay, so understand how they work basically. So you, as a startup, I'll, you know, this will be my, uh, you know, tip to all of you. Try to take your co-founders from the different industry, from the different background of uh, knowledge and specification. Okay, from different expertise, right? So one can be a CTO because he have a really good knowledge on the tech. One can be a C CEO because he have a really good knowledge of business and operations. One can be a CMO because he do have a great social media or you can say great marketing uh, knowledge, right? So take the people from the different industry. That's basically a plus point for for the for for the, for the people as an investor. Okay, that done. You know 
met with the team now i will evaluate your past performance okay so due diligence coming to power so due diligence is nothing but an audit okay what you have done in the past okay uh, regarding what how much have you sold how much you have purchased how much profit you made how much loss you made how much uh, you know uh, amount you have invested in the inventory how much amount you invested in the salary of the people everything everything that comes under the due diligence part basically audit of whatever you have, like based on the funding that you got in the last time whether an engine investment or bootstrap okay that basically comes under the due diligence part so we'll evaluate each and everything on the paper and based on that we'll take a decision okay and once all three steps seems fine to me seems good to me i'm ready to invest in then we'll plan a term sheet okay so term sheet is basically you know let's say if if you came to step 4 that means you are about to get the funding okay so term sheet is basically an agreement between founders and the venture capitalist which includes equity sharing holding and uh, the lock in period and as well as how are you going to perform how much return are you going to make and how much profit you are going to share all right so this all things comes under the term sheet and you get the capital funding from the investor all right so this is the four step in which funding gets work done that's all uh what what kind of like what, what kind of you know method venture capitalism use basically so you will see some new words some new uh, you know terminology here that i'll go like to exp uh, explain to all of you so one is equity that equity i've already shared you uh, a part of the company you can say a part of the ownership that actually required to get the funding so uh, by an example let's say this is a soil and he is investing in the startup okay so i'll require like i'll give you 10 lakh rupees in the return of 10% of equity so that's basically 10% ownership of company will be mine till you return my money okay so whatever the decision you will going to make you will share with me based upon that and but but the major decision lies on the founders itself okay so i just own 10% but uh, there are one more per, two per, there are two person who, have, who own 45 45 okay so they have a more decision power as compared to me i can just put the suggestion but decision based uh, decision lies on the founder itself okay this is done then conditional loan okay uh, you guys are not sure like as a startup founder i am not sure uh, or we can say i am a little insecure about my equity okay so i don't want to give my equity to any company but to take the funding i i'll get a loan from the venture capitalist okay so loan is just like a normal loan okay you have to pay the interest to the person within a lock in period so let's say 3 years 4 years this is something that gonna work okay so it's just a loan uh participating debentures okay so what basically let's know what debentures are so debentures that are issued by a body corporate which entitled the holder to participate in profits okay so let's say uh, you know i don't want uh, uh, i don't want to take your your equity neither i want to give you the loan okay uh, but there is one thing so let's say you have a startup you have a product like you know uh, apple okay so you projected that uh the profit of this uh, uh profit of the iphone the newly launched iphone will be more than 120% as compared to the last sale we got okay so what i'm telling you is i'll give you 10 lakh rupees just do the marketing and everything and whatever the profit will be made on that particular product the whole profit will be mine okay so debentures works in such a way which actually you know the equity uh, the the venture capital is bet on the profit so whatever the profit you made either 60% 70% 80% you have to give some amount of that to the investor okay then comes quasi equity so quasi quasi equity is preferred as a source of finance basically you know understand this term is a source of finance when share capital and debt financing are not possible okay you don't want to share the capital basically like you don't want to uh, give uh, take the funding neither you want to what the debt uh, finance basically you don't want the loan as well okay so uh, due to the legal structure of the organization uh, basically that that comes with the anything okay so let's say your equity is divided into the five people and neither of them want to share the equity okay neither of them want to so if one person will gonna share that means that the person will liquidate his cash and there might be a chance of getting the person exit okay so understand this term so the structure of the quasi investment comes into the picture in which what is the projected cash flow of the business will be done okay whatever so let's say you are earning 100 rupees daily so you have to give 10% 10 rupees to the investor daily on the daily basis that's basically your quasi equity okay nothing more. it's like a emi plan okay and then income note so the income note is a coupon payment so let's say uh, you know i have decided i have given you 1 lakh just give me uh, amount whatever in want you make so let's say uh, you know sohel have gave you 10 lakh rupees uh, as a sohel gave 10 lakh rupees to amit and amit is processing me that okay so i'll give you 
10 lakh rupees return in this such time period okay let's say i'm giving you uh, so i took the funding in january okay i want my money back return till november so it will give me the checks it will give me the checks basically to get my funding return based on the amount of interest as well and that's basically works in this such way so income note and cost equity comes like the very less the answers of you mean you will you will get the cost equity and income note because these two factors are basically when you know when your startup idea don't have that confidence okay but most of the time equity and conditional loan works so you guys must have uh, you know seen the shark tank india in which people were getting either equity or either a loan okay so this works in such a way methods of venture capital financing good so you got the knowledge of you know startup you got the knowledge of entrepreneurship you got the know no, what need what kind of funding you made okay now here comes the part how to approach to the venture capitalist okay so you have everything ready you have document ready you have everything ready you just have to go to the venture capitalist okay so uh, let's see how to approach a venture capitalist so this is the best thing yeah you know i got to know from my experience the best way to this approach a venture capitalist is via warm introduction okay now this won't make sense to you because uh, you know we are talking about approaching basically but this is the post thing right warm introduction once you meet with them then you introduce it doesn't mean such a way okay so uh, you will see in the next slide but uh, read this line the best way to approach a venture capitalist by a warm introduction now how will gonna make the warm introduction so basically hidden secret venture capitalist investing people as much as the product okay so they they look at the people as much as they do in technology or business ideas and having same connections like even if it's indirect okay rather than investing on the product they are investing on the people to determine whether the investment you know whether my investment is going on the right place or not okay so let's understand the tree so there is startup okay the start behind the startup there is a people founders and co-founders basically so basically they are the people who are going to run the business who are going to make the value on the table so rather than investing on the product idea maybe i'll invest on the people okay i'll invest on the potential of the people and venture capitalists look this quality in the people okay whether my so let's say whether the startup will get close in the two years but uh, will this person have a capability to return my money through the other sources as well or not okay so this things come into the picture you need to understand okay your profile should be that much top notch or premium to get the attention of the investor basically okay so some homework to do before approaching an investor i believe okay so do the hard research on uh basically you know uh, the profile of the investors okay do hard research not take up uh, like all ten think twice thrice you know 11 times before approaching to the investor because what kind of question they will going to ask you don't even care about okay you don't even know what kind of question they will come with you okay check past investment so you know let's say if there is a, a ventures called patan ventures who have invested in the multiple companies so check their portfolios as well okay the past investment what industry this startup belongs to you know what product right now they are in what stage in they are in right now like are they in seed stage or are they in just uh, basically uh, you can say uh, you know capital stage you can series a stage so check their post portfolio as well okay the industry portfolio uh, basically you know so there are multiple venture capitalists who choose to work on the industry so i'm i my background is from the tech i understand tech very very great okay so that's why i come to the tech part tech industry and i'll invest in the saas product software as a service product but let's say there is one people coming from fashion industry okay so in uh, the lady in the you know uh, in the shark tank india which meme was very famous like ye meri expertise se bahar hai main out to so this things come into the picture right ki uh, she belongs to the fashion industry or you can say cosmetic industry so she try to relate with the startups and she uh, is more secure to invest in that kind of startup so you need to understand the portfolio of the venture capitalist as well so rather than just approaching any camper capitalist just understand in which industry he is more ready to invest okay uh, connect with startups who got the funding from them okay so as i already said check the past start uh, check the past investment reach out to the company founders because they will be very down to earth to help you in any way uh, connect with them you know talk with them how you got the funding what were the question get asked while while approaching and you know what were your experiences were okay uh, this all and also let's say if there is a venture capitalist firm then stock the management profiles as well okay 
uh, what are their education background you know uh, what company they have worked upon what kind of knowledge they possess so that it will help you to build a credibility in front of him okay in in like credibility tends to value to build the value on uh, whenever he gets he will come to the stage okay so this is all the thing so note it down very very carefully do hard research check past investment industry portfolio connect with startups who got funding from them and stock the management profile right and how to connect very easy method you can either just go to their website or maybe portfolio or go on their like you know send them an email so here comes the warm introduction part okay I, whenever you are approaching them write a very good email uh, you know we are looking for the fund it's not like okay so hello sir hi this is L. i hope you are doing well and i want the funding or they won't even check your mail okay so you need to have a very flashy uh, subject line for that okay which actually automatically get the attention of that person so that he can open the mail okay uh, reach out to them on the mobile number okay sir i want to connect with you in any way will that be possible to get your available time uh, so this is something a professional thing professional gestures you have to show uh, send the message on the linkedin so connect with them on the linkedin linkedin is a very professional platform okay uh which help you to connect with the venture capitalist okay get the help from accelerator so if you are part of any accelerator get the help from them because they actually help you to uh you know get the get the get the funding basically all right uh so they will help you to come connect with the uh, venture capitalist as well okay so take the reference from already invested startups okay so let's say you have understood uh you know you got one of your friend is co-founder or maybe you know person who is a co-founder of another step who got the funding so maybe you can get the uh reference from these people to invest in his own investors okay so that will be helpful to take the reference okay and as well as participate in startup showcase competition so shark tank is a showcase platform okay where you actually get the funding right so participate in such startups uh, competition and you will automatically get the help you like you will automatically get the funding related opportunity over there so these are the five steps that i understood from my personal opinion which will gonna help you to get the fundings okay uh certain publications which is available which you should follow on the daily basis your story your story post everything uh, uh you know re- what, which startup got which funding how much funding they got you know who are the investors their profile and everything so your story will help you in uh you know this is my go to resource if i want to check who which industry is booming right now right investopedia investopedia will help you to get your profile uh, evaluated as well and you know to get the knowledge so they provide a really good blogs i read them on the daily basis investopedia is something which help you to understand how you know on the world scale on the global scale startup is performing how because they contribute the article is contributed by the sponsor uh, by the investor itself right so investopedia will help you in such a way angel list angel list is the uh, you know you are very famous for a job platform for anything so angel list is the group of investors in uh, across the globe who are they are actually you know helping the startups to go from 0 to 100 right so these are the three publications that you should follow I would suggest if you are a book reader, just read this book. I read this book and I really got to know a lot of things from here. Okay, so the manual for Indian startups, uh, you know, which includes everything from funding point of view, from starting point of view, how startup got failed, how they have reactivated everything, how the idea got tweaked. So you know, th- th- this happens that whenever whether we think upon the idea, like whenever we think upon idea on in our mind, we think that it's the perfectly market fit, but it doesn't. Okay. from your perspective just because of you are connected with the mutual of your mutual uh, you can say uh, you can say you are emotionally connected with your idea you think that this is a perfect market fit but sometimes it doesn't okay you have to tweak your idea you have to change your idea you have to add some additions or contributions to idea to make the market fit okay so this this book will going to help you by the experiences how startup got failed and how they have tweaked their idea so this is a very good book i would suggest to go and uh, read uh the person i legitly follow in the startup industry is the naval ravikant okay so this person is mentor for me i believe i follow on tweets instagram linkedin twitter everywhere because he's the founder of angel list okay and like more than uh, more than more than i think 150 startups have been uh, had got the investment from him okay which includes very you can check his profile he, he will let uh, you know you will see what kind of startups he has been investing on okay so that's all from my side guys uh whatever the information that i have shared from the my past experience and everything and if you want to connect with me you can just connect with me on ims patan so the username is available on instagram linkedin twitter email everywhere i am open for the questions
Uh, does any host will give me heads up? Hello. Good morning, sir. Am I audible, sir? So yes, ma'am. You are clearly audible. Okay. Uh, you may are going to uh, leave it and either because I am already uh, joined one of the faculty development program. So simultaneously, I am listening uh, some of the contents from your presentation also. Uh, so there is a noise. Uh, so sorry for that one. But uh, I request all the students uh, to make sure. Am I audible, sir? Yes, ma'am. You are clearly audible. Yeah. So uh, I request, sir, uh, to all of you, uh, please make your video on so that I can take one screenshot for the attendance. All the participant, I request you please make your video on so that I can take the screenshot. So, Hill, sir, please can you make your video on for a few seconds? Uh, actually, my video access has been revoked, so I just need access for the video. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. No, no, no. Yes. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh... Thank you so much, ma'am. So, uh, guys, if you have anyone have any question, you can turn on your mic and ask me anything related to, you know, startup investment, anything. Uh, don't we have any questions here? Uh, I'm looking at the comment section actually. So if I do, if you don't have any questions, so there are two possibilities. Either you understood everything or you don't understood anything. So can we just, <laughs> can we just, can I just get, so uh, we can say feedback of my session. How was it? All right. Uh, thanks everyone. You can connect with me on the LinkedIn, uh, uh, basically for any help needed. I will be happy to take a call with you and, uh, you know, give you an opportunity to, you know, understand the knowledge or if you have anything idea on it. All right. So thanks for the faculty members and the team, uh, for inviting me. It's really great to connect with all of you and sharing the time and, uh, uh yeah, that's really great to have you here. Thank you Mrunal, ma for connecting and getting this ahead. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, sorry, uh, not able to give the full attention for this meeting because I am already attending one of the university meeting. Yeah, ma'am, I get that. I get that. You, you sometimes yeah. you have to do three to four minutes. Yeah, yeah. I totally yes, get that. Thank okay, okay, thank you. I will again uh, discuss uh, on a phone or a chat uh, after my meeting, completion of my meeting. Okay, sir. Sure, ma'am. Sure. Yeah, I look yeah, forward. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so well, sir, for sharing your valuable thoughts on this. And I really admire that we will uh, get our success in our entrepreneurship and
we can gain success up and thank you that's really great to look forward to anything needed from my help uh, you know let me know just text or call up the appellate yeah okay